Well, the Heart, um, the American Heart Association, excuse me, I have my camera here, or not my camera, my computer making noise. Uh, the association is getting ready for their Heart of Lancaster virtual event this Thursday. And although it is online, it allows them to continue their mission, a very important one, to ensure that everyone lives a long and healthier life. Fox 43's Brianna Gallagher talked with a woman who will be speaking at the event and shares her story about an incident that changed her life. A mom of two young boys and 33 at the time, Heather Elliott says it was like any other day, getting ready for work and trying to get the boys off to school. I started feeling some chest pain, uh, brushed it off as heartburn, figured I'll just go take my medication and call it a day. Uh, mentioned it to my husband on my way out. Um, again, wasn't a big deal. We went about her business. Working in the medical field, she figured she'd get an EKG once she got to work. But as she started her drive, things escalated, only getting worse. Finally got to the point where I was becoming uh, sweaty and having a lot of tingling and I pulled over, ended up calling the ambulance and then I ended up staying in the hospital for about four days so that they could work me up and try and figure out what caused it because at 33 years old, they didn't know why that was happening. After tests and process of elimination, Heather was diagnosed with a coronary artery spasm, which experts say tightens the muscles within arteries that send blood to your heart. Looking back at it, I think like, wow, like what could have really happened to me that day? Just because when I finally decided I needed an ambulance. I was at a point where my fingers, I couldn't really bend my fingers. They were stick straight. My arms felt like they weighed a ridiculous amount. So looking back, I, I, I'm more scared now. But when it was happening again, I was still in the mindset of, I can't be having anything wrong with my heart right now. Heart disease and stroke continue to be leading causes of death in the United States, according to the American Heart Association, which is why it's important to hear local stories of survivors. I just felt like I didn't fit the mold and I didn't want, honestly, and still to this day, I am hesitant to talk about my event because I don't want people to be like, maybe it's just attention. She doesn't really fit that mold. How could that happen to her? Um, but then on the flip side, I want to talk about it because I don't fit that mold <laughs> and you can't just think you're invincible. Brianna Gallagher, Fox 43 News. Well, the Heart of Lancaster virtual event begins at 6 p.m. this Thursday. If you would like to sign up or donate, we'll have information on how to do so on our website, fox43.com.